Hi guys, it's DataBits, and yes, I'm back with another amazing video for you. So the other day I was watching another video, kind of doing a little research, and I found this guy's video, and he was talking about a Sony camcorder that used Minidisc as its media. And at the beginning of the video, he starts out with just his hands like this. And as he's kind of giving you a little history, a little background as to what he's gonna talk about, you know, he just has his hands on the screen and really doesn't even give you anything else to look at, just a table. And I thought, you know, that's an amazing technique. I should really try that on my channel. Like start out every video with just my hands at the beginning. What do you guys think? Is that a, no, you don't like that idea? Okay, yeah, I, you know, it was worth a try. Anyway, what is in this box today? What we're gonna talk about is made by Polaroid and it is a rare, only 500 of them made video camera that Polaroid marketed in the mid eighties. So here's a little background on this beast. So according to the guy that sold this beautiful unit to me, offered is a very rare eight millimeter video system model P8C1 from Polaroid, which was never offered commercially. It was test marketed in Florida in the mid eighties and his sources say, as I said earlier, only 500 were produced by Hitachi. One of which this guy purchased new at the company store when he was employed with that great company. Now this unit doesn't work, but all the guts are in the camera, which doubles as the playback device. Included in this auction are three Nikon batteries, which are probably worthless. And if there is a cassette still in the camera, he can't eject it because there's no power. So he doesn't know how many minutes are on it or anything. It also includes a 90 minute cassette with a 30 minute tips and techniques training video. So if we can get that resurrected, I'd love to show that to you as well. But first, enough jabbering. Let's get my weapon of choice and dig into this thing, shall we? Cut along the center of the box. Glass handle with care. I wonder what kind of glass is in here. We will find out, won't we? Oh, and we appear to have a peer, a peer, a peer, to have a box within a box. I'm not sure what is in this box. But we'll set this box aside momentarily. Let's see what else we can see in here. All right, you guys got a good view? You got a good view? And this appears to be a dust cover. Ooh, check that out. The amazing dust cover of Polaroid. I like it. it doesn't have any kind of strange smells going on with it. And here, would be what is known as uh, this would be what is known as a docking station so this is what you would dock the camera in to play back your video on the screen you can see on the left here you've got some controls power eject you've got a tape counter memory reset rewind play fast forward pause stop TV, VCR, and record. All buttons you would see on a typical VCR. So we have our dock here, where you would plug in the camcorder. And then you have these two slots here to charge your batteries. And then it looks like our dust cover, which apparently survived without getting cracked, amazingly. Good job packing. You would just set that on top of there like that. What do you think? All right, now let's get into what's in the other box. Hopefully it's everything else. Ooh, looky, looky. What do we see here? We see an amazing box of goodies. First item up, 
This would be like the handle for the camcorder. So it looks like a, you know, like a, almost like a grip for a gun or something. Wait, I bet it goes like this. Yep, that's what it is. Tapes, we have a tape. There it is, tips and techniques. Ooh, I like. Is this a pre-recorded tape? Doesn't appear to be a pre-recorded tape, but we'll find out. Set that over there. Here is another Polaroid tape. This one is still sealed. It is a P60. Oh, I'm sorry, P90. It's a P60 if you turn it this way. No, it's not actually. It is a P90. Either way you look at it. So there we go. Barcode there and everything. Very nice. Okay, uh, looks like a, a coated filter underground camera. He paid $6.49 for this 49 millimeter lens. I don't know about you, but I'm not real excited about lenses. Okay, next I spy with my little eye a strap of some sort. Still in good shape. Set that aside. I spy a couple more tapes here. Nope, I spy empty, empty cases for tapes. It's kind of interesting. 8M slash M video, P690, P6120. Okay. We have a coaxial cable to connect to your television using the channel three or channel four viewing method. We have a, looks like a two and a half millimeter plug to composite video. That's an interesting thing. And we have a message here for us. The message says, Camera inside, open carefully. No knives. So I guess I can't use my knife to open this. That's a box cutter. It's not really a knife. So, so let's take a look here. Yeah, sorry, dude. We're going to have to use the knife. Hopefully I don't cut my finger off in the process. Always cut away from your body versus toward it. And my friends, we have a camcorder. And yes, indeed, there is a tape inside the unit. Looks like the foam has rotted away from the microphone. Very, very common for this kind of thing. We got a BLC normal. BLC. Here is outside versus inside lighting. And then our zoom in and out. And we'll turn it around here. Ah, that's what I was thinking of. Automatic white balance. So that is not what this is. I'm not sure what BLC is. It might come to me later. Uh, nothing on the top. Nothing on this side other than an 8 and our interface for our dock is right there. On the back, we have an eject, rewind, power on and off, right there. And we have a little rubber thing around the viewfinder. See that right there? And even a cap to protect the viewfinder. Very interesting. Looks like we have a manual zoom control here as well as manual focus should you want to do so all right we'll see you here in a moment and what is this guy ah this is the way to set the uh, white balance apparently you can use this side as a white balance target what do you think okay Ooh, the rechargeable batteries, yes. Let's see what these look like. Ooh, 
Very interesting. It's a P8B1 rechargeable battery. And we appear to have another one. Ah, this one's a little bit prettier than the last one. P8B1. All right, so there's those. And it appears the last thing we will see in here is the lens cap that will go on the front of the camera. All right. Now, let's see if we can put all this stuff together, and I may have a video to show you. So, according to Google, BLC means backlight compensation. Just a little FYI there. I thought I'd show you a couple more things on this particular gadget. We have a sharpness control. I don't think I've ever seen a sliding sharpness control. And we have a remote connector here, but this did not come with a remote. Let's remove this dust cover once more. I'll show you some jacks on the back. Starting on the left side, we have our tuner in. So apparently an optional accessory would have been a TV tuner to record off of television, record live TV. We have video in and audio in, as well as video out and audio out using red and yellow, kind of like the uh, original NES did. I don't see that very often. Typically, audio is a white plug, not a red one. Here is our VHF in and out with a selector for channel three and channel four. And then over here, we have a serial number as well as our AC out. So you could plug something in there, use it as a power outlet. And then we have a 400 watt max, regular standard power plug hanging off the side here. The base of our camera dock has a nice velvety smooth surface right here, I guess to keep the camera from being scratched when it is docked. And here's what our system looks like with everything docked and in place. I don't know about you guys, but this particular dock gives me a Philips kind of vibe, almost like those uh, Philips VCR format units from the 70s. I don't know, it just kind of has that that feel to it, or maybe a, a Magnavox VCR or Laserdisc player. And here's our handsome and cleaned up unit sitting atop our console television. So you'd come up to the television and you would lift up the lid on your VCR unit, grab the VCR part of it, well, the camera part of it, pull that out, grab your gripper over here, and it took me like forever to figure out how this works, but there's a little button that's right there by my thumb that you have to push in in order for this to unlock and then attach to the top here. And I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I didn't figure that out. So push that in and then push the whole button in. And then there's little arrows there that line up and then it goes on and then you just let go and then Oh, this massive camera thing is ready to go out and shoot some video. Pew, 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 pew. Where else have we seen a camcorder with a trigger like this and the handle on the bottom like that? I mean, that is such a strange design, right? Well, maybe we saw that in another Polaroid camera known as the Polavision camera, right? So there they are next to each other. So, yep, yeah, trigger. Trigger, right there, boom, ready to go. Let's go shoot some film and let's go shoot some video. Okay, that sounds great. Thanks, dude, let's go. So can we get any life out of that video camera? The charging system in the base is probably useless because of bad caps. So I have this Schumacher charger that I got from Lowe's and it is currently charging the battery like this. I did try cleaning the contacts as you see on there, but still no light on the actual base from the charging system there. So right now it says on, it says it's actually charging that. This is a, a six volt and 12 volt battery charger. So 
We will find out. This is a 6-volt battery. So we're all set. We'll see what the results are later. So you remember earlier I mentioned that there were three batteries included? It just so happens that one of the batteries is in this gripper. So all you need to do, pull this little lever right here, pops open, and then the battery falls out. So there we go. There's our three batteries. One, two, three. Hey, I can count to three. Isn't that cool? But yeah, that's another unique design, having the battery inside the grip. Of the three batteries this camera came with, two of which are recognizing the charger and accepting a charge. This one was completely shorted out, dead. So I thought I would pop the hood on it, show you what it was like. So you can see the contacts there. And there's the power cells on the inside. And there's all the contents dug out of the casing there for your viewing pleasure. Okay, hot off the battery charger is this P8B1 battery. It is still warm to the touch. So let's plug it in here and see if we can get any life out of this camcorder. I'm not expecting a whole lot. So let's see, can I hit eject over here? I cannot. Uh, what about my zoom control? Oh, looky there. So I did plug the battery up to a voltmeter and it did show I was getting 6.7 volts from it. So this old battery actually did charge and is holding somewhat of a charge. Not bad for a nickel cadmium battery, but uh, not enough power apparently to eject the tape. I may have to surgically remove this tape to get it out of here. Or I do have one of the other batteries on charge right now. So we could wait and see if there is another battery that might put out enough amps, amperages to get this thing uh, to come back to life. Let's take a peek under this cover here and see just how difficult it would be to surgically remove this tape be great to see some original footage from it there is some in the demonstration video that you'll see later true to life stuff there okay yeah we're a little wound into the uh to the mechanism there can you guys see that you can see the tape yep wrapped around some of those rollers in there so that could be a little bit difficult to get out of there but yeah, there's our video head right there in the center of your screen. Got our pinch roller right there. Got some interesting mechanism stuff going on. But yeah, the tape has been entombed in there for quite some time. It is now time to reveal what is inside of this camera. I have taken the liberty of removing the screws. And now we shall reveal the innards of this wonderful machine. And there it is. It doesn't look too particularly damaged or anything. Everything's in good shape. Now my theory is that this motor right here is what handles turning the mechanism to unwind the tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a nine volt battery to those terminals right there and see if I can get that motor to move and unwind this tape. Ladies and gentlemen, watch as success becomes ours. Turns out you have to let this do a little bit more rolling underneath there before it resets the door. There we go. Now I can do it again. Now that we have our tape, Let's check the content 
and see what's on it. And I have some bad news. All that hard work to get this tape out of the camera, simply labeled 6RL, this original tape has nothing on it. It is completely blank. So either it was never used, they never recorded anything on it, or they erased it at some point. So anyway, unfortunately, I have nothing to report on the original tape. And now the part of the video where I take the tips and techniques tape and transfer it using this digital Handycam from Sony. This is a model DCR TRV 510, property of Jefferson College in Hillsboro, Missouri. I'm such a thief, why would I steal that? Anyway, uh, so we're gonna use that and we're going to transfer it to this unit here. This is a video capture device made by Cloner Alliance called the Cloner Alliance Box Pro. To get those steady shots, you'll need to hold the camcorder correctly. Since you are right-handed, hold the grip in your right hand. Use your forefinger to operate the recording button on the front of the handle. With your left hand, cradle the front of the camcorder so that you can turn the focusing ring on the lens with your thumb and forefinger, and your thumb can also reach the power zoom switch. How's that feel? Comfortable and steady? Good. Now, let's check the focus before you shoot. How's it look in there? Whoa, not too sharp, is it? Let's get that handsome bunch into perfect focus. Ah, there we go. That's the way they should look. Well, my friends, it has been a joy to share this amazing Polaroid video camera VCR system with you today. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did enjoy showing this unit to you. Please follow me on all of my social media. You'll find that down in the description of this video. Please subscribe to the channel, share this video with at least 200 of your friends, and check out the rest of my channel. I've got uh, over 500 videos, seriously, on this channel with all kinds of good stuff I've found over the years. Thank you for watching. See you next time.